Tesla's mind-altering Cybertruck is entering production in the middle of next year from the Texas Gigafactory. Elon Musk has confirmed that the Tesla team is already focusing on Cybertruck readiness and plans to begin installing the equipment and tooling required within the coming months so that Cybertruck can begin its volume production ramp in mid-2023. Elon Musk states that the Cybertruck will be the best product ever at Tesla, which is quite the statement given that in the past he's called the Tesla Model X the Fabergé egg of cars, having put in way too many features and even affirming that Tesla would never do that again and there will never be another car like the fully featured Model X. However, Cybertruck takes a slightly different direction. While the vehicle is poised to be packed with functionality, Tesla has learned its lesson since the 2014 Model X days. Instead of adding complexity, Cybertruck will bring an entirely new architecture into the automotive world and actually focus on simplicity and efficiency. Elon Musk views Tesla, at least in part, as a hardcore manufacturing company, and Cybertruck is Tesla's opportunity to not only flex their engineering prowess, but also reimagine how cars are made. The first thing people notice is Cybertruck's sharp angles, a result of the outer cold rolled stainless steel exoskeleton that uses Tesla's proprietary metal alloy and actually prevents these parts from being stamped since it breaks the stamping machine. Elon Musk continues to call it CGI in real life as the Cybertruck looks like it's straight out of your favorite N64 game, but the vehicle appears to be modeled more like an aircraft design with a dent-proof shell and Tesla armor glass windows. It seems like Cybertruck is more like a tank than a car, and is reminiscent of the Star Wars Sandcrawler. Inspiration of the Cybertruck admittedly comes from a series of sci-fi movies including Blade Runner, Star Wars, even the James Bond submarine, and many other references as Elon Musk wants to take science fiction and bring it into reality. Curiously, however, it appears that there's a wide belief that the Cybertruck is a fake truck that's never going to get delivered to consumers, or even if it does, the big boy players like Ford and General Motors, some of the top truck makers in the world who've specialized in making pickup trucks for on the order of a hundred years, will rapidly defeat Tesla, rendering the Cybertruck a niche player at best, if not wiping it out completely in a massive flop of epic proportions. Anyone who believes this, however, is either confused or has not been paying attention to Tesla over the last few years. Tesla has an insane track record of releasing new products. According to Elon Musk, the Tesla Model Y is on track to become the highest revenue generating car in the world this year in 2022, and is expected to be the highest volume car in the world by next year in 2023. That would be just three years after the first delivery started in 2020. For comparison, the Toyota Corolla came out in 1966 and became the world's best-selling car in 1997, 31 years later, and continues to hold the top spot today, being produced at 15 plants around the world. Tesla will have just four factories producing Model Y, which sells at a high premium to the Corolla. This makes Tesla a force to be reckoned with, and they've achieved their success without spending a dime in advertising. Now Tesla is entering the pickup truck market with what Elon Musk calls one hell of a product. The Cybertruck will take a novel design to the next level, and Tesla is always looking for talented engineers to build their innovative products. Now you can also improve your own skills with the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, including graphic design, animation, web development, and video editing. One of the first classes that caught my attention was YouTube Success Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. Now, this is taught by popular tech YouTuber Marquez Brownlee, and as a fan of his content, I was very interested in his class, which shows a behind-the-scenes overview of how he creates his inspirational videos by bringing together his love of technology and photography and combining it with authentic writing.
Now, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro or a hobbyist, discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description or use coupon code TMIOTESLA0522 will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now, Cybertruck has been delayed multiple times, and so the skeptics are more unconvinced than ever, especially since the Cybertruck timeline is still about a year out into the future. Between now and mid-2023, anything can change, which is what the cynics are betting on. But there's something different this time round, which gives Elon Musk and should give Tesla stakeholders confidence that the Cybertruck will now truly be on time with the current roadmap. In the past, there actually hasn't been a place to manufacture a vehicle like the Cybertruck. The Fremont facility in California was bursting at the seams, and so Cybertruck depended on a new factory, Giga Texas, to be constructed, and it's designed from the ground up to have dedicated Cybertruck space, equipment, and manufacturing lines. The second major holdup was that even if the Cybertruck could be produced, volume would be extremely low because Tesla's Model Y would be using up any excess battery cell supply that the company has. It makes no sense to produce a new product if it takes away from the current product. Releasing Cybertruck would actually hurt Model Y deliveries. Now, while this isn't yet written in stone, Elon Musk believes that Tesla's 4680 battery cell capacity will reach sufficient volume by middle of next year to provide enough battery capacity for other products but also incrementally adding in the Cybertruck. While the 4680 is ramping up nicely on Cato Road in California, Tesla predicts that Giga Texas, which just installed its own 4680 battery cell equipment, will surpass Cato Road by the end of 2022. This means that Tesla finally has enough battery capacity to start releasing new products, and we've also just seen Elon Musk announce that the Tesla Semi which uses multiple times more batteries than any one of Tesla's products and just saw its timeline shifted forward from 2023 to 2022, suggesting that Tesla is highly confident that it will in fact be on track with its battery production plans. Both the Tesla Semi and the Cybertruck will rely on Tesla's high nickel 4680 battery cells as Tesla outlined at their battery day event. If anything, if Tesla is short on these 4680 cells, it actually makes sense to divert the batteries from the semi-truck to the Cybertruck, since Cybertruck will use far fewer cells and thus Tesla can produce perhaps 5 to 10 Cybertrucks for each semi worth of battery cells, which would be the economic thing to do. Curiously, the other major change that Tesla recently made was adding the ability for Giga Texas to produce non-structural battery pack Model Ys using the 2170 cells. Some may view this as a sign of weakness that Tesla isn't confident in the 4680 ramp, but on the other hand, they could be preparing to divert all the 4680s to the Cybertruck and the Semi where they're actually necessary rather than using them in Model Y, and only putting them back into the Model Y later on when 4680s have ramped in excess of what Cybertruck and Semi need. Irregardless, the Cybertruck is coming sooner than most people think. But Ford CEO Jim Farley might be one of those people. In a recent presentation, he stated, We are really on a mission at Ford to lead an electric and digital revolution for many, not few. And I have to say the shining light for us at Ford is this beautiful lightning made right down the road in Dearborn, right here in the state of Michigan, already the leader of all EV pickup trucks in our industry in the United States. Take that, Elon Musk. While the banter between the two companies is somewhat likable, the CEO of Ford is still at square zero, if not a negative number. Ford's sales over the past few years have been in secular decline. The company held a 4% market share in electric vehicles in the US, compared to Tesla's staggering 75% share. Yet Jim Farley says he's in the lead with the F-150 Lightning. He may be correct, but Ford is in the lead only because they sold a total of 2,296 F-150 Lightnings in the second quarter. As a matter of fact, the startup Rivian sold 4,467 electric vehicles in the U.S. in Q2, albeit it does include Rivian's R1T truck, the R1S SUV, and the van for Amazon, but these are all large vehicles that require vast numbers of battery cells. 
Rivian doesn't break out the numbers per vehicle type, but they could very well be in the lead. But looking at the bigger picture, Ford's overall sales have deteriorated over the last few years, and the company was by and large selling about 6 million vehicles per year, which dropped down to 4 million in 2021, which is still a million cars per quarter. But it's a drop in the bucket to be prematurely touting the 2300 F-150 Lightnings that they sold, saying that they're leaders in the space. That's like playing a tennis match against Roger Federer, winning the first point accidentally and then claiming victory. The truth is, is that Ford, which is very much a fossil fuel pickup truck leader in the industry, is about to face an existential threat with the Cybertruck on the horizon. The entire company of Ford relies mainly on the F-150 line for its profits and therefore its survival. The F-150 is indeed the best-selling pickup truck in the world, but Cybertruck wants to be the new leader, and there's a lot of uncertainty as to how that could change the entire pickup truck industry. Elon Musk stated at one point that the Cybertruck factory is targeting an initial production rate of 250,000 Cybertrucks per year. Even at this rate, it could still take years for Tesla to fulfill its reservation list, which is said to have over a million pre-orders. Ford's entire F-Series lineup sells about 700 to 900,000 trucks per year. If Tesla takes even a small amount of market share from this, it could be bad news for Ford. High profitability is partially a result of high volume, and so even just a small decline for Ford could drastically affect the company's bottom line even if Tesla doesn't take the leadership position away from Ford. That said, it's possible that the Cybertruck brings in new buyers into the market who traditionally weren't shopping for a pickup truck. While the Cybertruck doesn't exactly look like a pickup, it certainly matches all of the specifications of the best-selling F-150 and then some. The Cybertruck has a 6.5 foot bed, but also sports a timbre door to lock up the truck's vault. It will have potentially up to 500 miles of range, which puts to shame the 320 miles of range for the top-of-the-line F-150 Lightning. There's also a rumor that Tesla brings to market a four-motor version, which means it will be Tesla's only product to have all-wheel torque vectoring, which no pickup truck currently has save the Rivian, and allows for faster acceleration, sharper cornering, and better handling of rough terrains. Now, at the recent 2022 shareholder meeting, Elon Musk told reservation holders that Cybertruck pricing and specs would change from those released in 2019. But Tesla has been known to under-promise and over-deliver, especially when it comes to making the production car better than the prototype. And by the way, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and financial data going back 10 years, and it's all freely available. The Cybertruck is said to have reduced manufacturing costs, in part due to lack of a paint shop required. The Tesla team has also decided to remove the door handles, completely using software to determine when to open and close the doors, but further saving on componentry. Cybertruck's Giga Castings will bring a whole new level of simplicity and manufacturing improvements. On the Q2 conference call, Elon Musk gave the front casting a rating of C and the rear casting a B-, citing room for improvement. Cybertruck will bring the next version of the Giga Castings and also have them be better integrated with the rest of the vehicle. As we saw with the Model Y teardown from Sandy Monroe, where there were parts that needed to be welded to the Giga Castings likely due to assembly constraints, that could perhaps be further improved with castings from the 9,000 ton Giga Casting machine specifically designed for the Cybertruck. This vehicle is also said to be built on a new platform. This is a good opportunity for Tesla to truly innovate. Long-time Tesla followers have been waiting for Tesla to implement a number of interesting patents as well as architectural changes that Elon Musk has hinted about years ago. For instance, using just 100 meters of wiring instead of 1.5 kilometers of wiring that the Model Y uses, or having stiffer wires and cables such that their installation can be automated by machine. It was thought that the Model Y would have these changes, but based on the ones being delivered from Giga Austin, the platform appears to be generally the same as all the other Model Ys. It's also an opportunity for Tesla to upgrade some of the computer hardware for this new product. This may be a challenge for new Model Ys from Giga Texas, since they still need to be backward compatible with components from other Model Ys. We saw this in Sandy Monroe's teardown for the casing for the motors and inverter, which were all the same size and shape for Model 3 and Model Y, even if the tech inside, such as the circuit board, improved in design. This way, they can put a newer version of the chip into an older vehicle and it works. 
But what if they found a way to reduce the size of these components? It's much harder to change that and it will break compatibility. But for a completely new product like the Cybertruck, they can change anything and create a new standard of compatibility across Tesla's new products such as Roadster, Semi, and Cybertruck. It's also said that the Cybertruck could get a new set of higher resolution cameras as well as the in-car hardware 4 chip that Tesla has had in the works since they spoke about their hardware 3 at Tesla's autonomy day. In 2022, Elon Musk reiterated by saying, I'm confident that hardware 3.0 or the FSD computer 1 will be able to achieve full self-driving at a safety level much greater than a human, probably at least 200-300% to better than a human. Obviously, there will be a future hardware 4 or full self-driving computer 2 which we'll probably introduce with the Cybertruck. Furthermore, if Elon Musk is saying that this is the product he's most excited about, competitors better tread carefully. Elon has hinted that Cybertruck will have a new platform design with a completely changed architecture, and Tesla has taken all of their learnings from all of their other vehicles to make this one even better. It's really the best strategy to make sure that key differentiating features from competitors are diffused, while adding in a host of new things that no one can compete with, especially since Tesla has been known to develop hardware components from scratch along with all the software that goes with them, while competitors can only move at the pace of their suppliers. We see that Cybertruck could have the crab walk feature, which was the differentiating factor for GM's Hummer. They seem to be looking at making a four motor version to take on Rivian, even though Rivian has a four and a half foot truck bed and lacks a vehicle with a six and a half foot bed, which is the most popular size pickup truck in today's market. Cybertruck will contain electrical outlets for using tools, but also use the truck's air suspension as a compressor for air tools. So far, Tesla's automotive software has proven to be second to none, especially compared to Ford's antiquated software and their knob-based screen. We've seen it take weeks, if not months, for Ford to fix critical bugs even with over-the-air software updates. Tesla added hundreds of new features and fixes with regular software updates to its already refined software. But the biggest problem for Tesla's competitors is that they've underestimated and underinvested in battery capacity. It will take years for them and their suppliers to build new battery plants. And so even though Cybertruck isn't the first to market, Tesla isn't rushing it out the door to claim a short-term victory. The Cybertruck will hit the market when Tesla is ready with an arsenal of proprietary 4680 battery cells to back it up. Tesla has had three years to refine the Cybertruck and so now that competitors such as Ford and Rivian have released their own pickup truck offerings, they're focused on selling hundreds or even a few thousand trucks. Tesla will catch these competitors off guard when they sell hundreds of thousands of vehicles, since after all, nobody expects the Cybertruck. So do you think that the Cybertruck will be built on a completely new platform that's vastly different from the Model Y? And will Cybertruck take market share from the current pickup truck market or will it draw in mainly new customers who've never owned or needed a pickup truck before? Don't forget to check out our Skillshare sponsor link in the description below. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.